Good morning. My name's Hugh Doxett Pratt. I am from Cornerstone and I've got the privilege this morning of uh, giving you the small devotional for, for City Prayer. I want us to look at a, a verse from Colossians. Colossians 3.13 says, Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. I was uh, reading this this whole passage um, uh, over the last uh, week or so, and it, it it struck me as something I needed to to think about and and to work on. Um, we've been in lockdown for a while. We've got a little bit more. Um, the leash has been let off a little bit, but we're still in lockdown, and I find it hard. I have to say, I find it hard. I'd much rather have normality back. I'd much rather meet up with people in coffee shops, but they're not open. I'd much rather meet up with uh, two or three people rather than just one. There are frustrations. There are frustrations. I need a haircut. And do I trust my wife to cut my hair? Uh, yes. Um, so there are frustrations that are building. And, and then we can take those frustrations out on other people, can't we? And it doesn't matter whether we're a, a young family uh, so the parents are struggling with children maybe who are who are under five under four um, they don't really understand what's going on they want a lot of attention and yet they're trying to work at the same time and and they're desperate for some adult conversation which is you know more than just talking to each other uh, as as co-parents about looking after the children but actually wanting some proper adult conversation maybe it's families that are struggling because they're in a situation where um, they thought the children were going to go back to primary school. And now it's only a couple of uh, young age group and then maybe at the very top end where they get some teaching time soon. And you've been trying to homeschool, but you're not a home, home teacher. This is not what you set out to do. And you're trying to do the best and you've got amazing stuff coming from schools that can help you. But you have to help the children do it. And children don't always want to go to school, do they? don't want to go to school when it's out there, let alone in your own house where you've got all the other toys you can play with. Or maybe it's a family where there are uh, two uh, young adults that have come back or, or teenagers and actually you're all in the house together a lot of the time and everybody's wanting the internet at the same moment and suddenly the house feels like it's shrunk and you're a bit on top of each other uh, and frustrations can build, can't they? Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. I think it's a key time for, for keeping short accounts with people. And uh, that's something I've been trying to do myself. And I think we can encourage ourselves that uh, we can do it. We can do it because we keep a short account with the Lord, or we need to, because it says, remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. We're talking about a holy God here, a holy God who forgave us. And what we did was far more than the frustrations we might be thinking and, and, and getting in our own house and our own environments. So it's for us, it's for me, hopefully it's for you. It's an encouragement because we're following the example of God who forgave us and we had much, much more we needed forgiving for. But I wonder too whether as we come to prayer we can think about the people in our communities. They don't have the Lord Jesus uh, as an example to keep short accounts. Uh, and the pressures may be becoming quite extreme in some of those households. So let us pray for ourselves, but let us pray for other families we know. Maybe just in the way that we act we can be a witness to others as well. Let's pray. Father God, as we, we come to you this morning, we lift ourselves to you and we thank you for Jesus who died for us on the cross. We thank you that you forgave us. Help us to forgive others. Help us to forgive each other in the houses where we live. But also we pray that you'd help us to give an example that enables others who don't know you yet to keep short accounts in their households as well. We do pray, Father, for the strain and pressure that is happening in many of the homes around Nottingham. We pray that you'd reach out 
your hand of peace into those households. You protect vulnerable children. You protect uh, wives or husbands that feel like they're being abused, be it mentally or physically. You would bring peace. You would bring harmony because we long to see your power released in the whole of Nottingham. May it start with our prayers for these homes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much indeed. Have a great day.